Hello, I'm Zardus, and let's play Planet Zoo. Welcome back to my franchise mode series. This is Cedar Creek Simmer, and today what I want to do, we have a bit of a stable start. We're making money. We're uh, seeing that go up. We're also seeing some of the animals are breeding, which will allow us to get more conservation points. And we also, let's come in here. Did we complete any challenges? Now we just have two new challenges to meet here and then there's community stuff that we can do but we'll do those later now we also in here have vet research complete let's go ahead and do this and i think we're all done with arctic fops so that's really good can we get anything else in here they already have well actually they could use another toy so let's go in here and find arctic fops and we'll come down to enrichment and go to toys and give them a cardboard box i guess and that should make them totally happy then we can come in here and i want to switch over to our uh giant tortoise that's what we're working on they could use they have a sprinkler already okay they really need food enrichment which we don't have anything for them right now and they're also, no, nope, that's fine. Okay, so it's really just food enrichment that they need and we can't provide that yet. But today, what I wanna work on is planning out some of the zoo so that now that we are stable, we can start building a different style. Although maybe we should get two more habitats in for now. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll get two more habitats in today. So what we're going to do is we're going to find two more here. And what I want is I want to find an animal that will be reset all filters. And we are going to find one that has high appeal. Because that will get them coming in the most. But those are also going to be the most expensive. We're going to do cashless things. And then we can go in. Yeah, those are very expensive. But let's see if they are no least concern. I want to find some here conservation status. Critically endangered. Then what I want to do is I want to find some that don't have a very big space. The lemur might be a good one. And the lemur also is polygamous. One male and 15 females. Let's do that. And the guests can enter the habitat. That would be good. Let's see what we have in the market. There are two males available. But no females. And they take conservation points to get that. I think what I want to do then is we'll just hope that we can get a female. So going back to the Zoopedia, what do we need for them? They need, oh, also we need to check. Are they, are these guys upset about temperature? Yeah, they are. We need to add heaters to our habitats very quickly. So this heater can go here and do like cover the whole space. But let's get one here. And then we'll put one over here just in case. Okay, so now they should get their heat up. Hang on, let's see what temperature they want. So they want a minimum of 61. So we're going to set this low to 65. That way we don't have to pay as much to keep the heat up. They should be happy. Also, we could change the range too, but I think that's fine and hopefully it won't cause too much. Now, over here, how about the Arctic fonts? They should be plenty happy with the cold. Okay, so we, we, we fixed that. Now, going back to our lemurs. The black and white ruffled lemur, they need grade one climb proof for feet. They will need a little bit of climbing as well, but let's come in here, barriers. Grade one, we can do wood logs or brick. Let's do wood logs, then we don't have to maintain them quite as much. And we're going to do this 
in a similar style to what we've done at the other ends. We're going to bring this over. And then just bring this right along here. Okay, so we've got that barrier built, but we do need to make it. We're going to go in here. It needs to be climb proof. So that we can change here, climb proof. Let's put that on the inside. Yeah, that should have made it climb proof. Very good. And then we want to make sure it's the right height. And again, what did we need? We needed 4.125, which is, what is that like? One and a half meters. So let's go ahead and we'll just in here put windows as well as over in here. Then we need a door and we have to figure out how we're going to get staff over here. So that is now the question. So we have we have plenty of power. What we could do is we could bring a staff path this way and then tuck the door back in there. I think that's what we'll end up doing. Get the door here. So what I want to do then is we're going to grab this and make this go farther out. It's interesting that did not connect here. We'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, now we're going to pause and we are going to deselect the grid. And we'll actually, uh, it's because of that, this thing. This has messed everything up here. By nice design, but we are, there we go. There, beautiful, okay. We can unpause now and that is reconnected and I believe it said that the humans can enter here too. They're neutral with humans, guests can enter, very good. So we could get a path in there as well. Let's go ahead and extend this a little bit further here. And then we'll come in here and get a path, guest gate, put one there and one over here. And how we did it over there? Yeah, pretty much. I guess what we'll do is we'll come back in here and we'll make this straight here. And then we can come in with the guest gate right here. Beautiful. And then we can come in with a guest path. And again, just do this. We can. I want to bring this back a bit. There we go. So now we've got a path in there. We have a nice little thing here. Let's go ahead and find our lemurs. And look, we've got a female and a male. Okay, good. So we've got. This one is more fertile than the two. Let's get that. And this one is more fertile of the two. So, and actually, let's get both females that used up some of our conservation credits. So hopefully we will be able to use those. So we're going to go ahead and send these here. I mean, hopefully the uh, lemurs will generate plenty of conservation credits. So now what did they need? They needed 210 land. We're right now we're going to have three. 220 sips. We have plenty of land here, and then they need 28 square meters of climbing. So we'll come in here and take off the tortoise. And what kind of lemur was that? Let's go this way, and we have the black and white roughed lemur. Okay, so. We have some very basic climbing stuff and don't have any, currently we don't have anything that we can use from the workshop. So I am going to build this off camera and I will be back. 
Okay, so now we have a very, very basic structure in here that they can climb on and they can go underneath the guests, so the guests can probably find that fun. And um, hopefully it, it will work, I'm sure. But anyway, let's come in here. We also need to get some hard shelter. They always need hard shelter. And I mean, they I guess they have some, but what we want to do is we want to give them hard shelter that they can have some privacy. So we're going to put this over in here. And then we'll put a wall on it. So we're going to put it here. And then we're going to pause for a moment. Come in here to construction. And we want just a wall on this. Although we could probably get a, just a brick. Not, not a brick. A, um, a rock or something in there. This looks cool. Can we add that to that? Yeah, very good. This might give them the privacy. It's a little bit too big. Put it there. Yeah, so that way they have just one little spot that they can go back in there. And we can put their bed down in there. But if they really need to get away, they can do that. Okay, so we'll exit editing that, and then we're going to add another small bed under here. Okay, now let's unpause, and we should be out of the quarantine pretty soon. And then we need to add our signs as well. Let's come in here, and only one is ready. So let's work on our signs next. So we want to come in here, and we want to copy these. You always want to make sure you have education, because education helps get you more conservation credits. So put one there. Put one there. One there, and one here. And then we'll get some in here, too. There, and then that will have to change, but then we also want to come in here and grab the donation bins. Get those strategically placed. And you know what else we need? We need some food in here. Food and water. Let's put... Yeah, feeding platform. We can have the three meter one. And we'll put that, let's see, the crew will come in there. We can put the food back here. And a water pipe. Put that over here so that they have a reason to go across. And I suppose we should, we should probably add another ramp there. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so now they can get up on either side. We should be in good shape. Let's come over here now. They're all ready to go. We're going to move them over here. No path. Oh, yeah, we didn't connect the staff path. So what I want to do is I want staff path to come off there. And then I'm just going to have it be paved path there. And then the same thing over here. I want a staff path coming off here. And then we'll just bring this down this way. Like that. Okay, now we can move them to here. And that should really work. Then once we get them in here, I think we can change this. We can't quite change it yet. But soon we can change what that says, and then we'll get more people coming out this way to kind of spread our zoo out a bit. Now let's see what our alerts are. Vet research complete. Continue. Yeah, keep working on those. These ones are because our education boards are too far away, but now we might be able to come in here. And I want to change this to giant tortoise really quick. 
Let's see if we got any food enrichment in here. Yeah, we, uh, well, we got a dog ball, so we've got a toy. They can have another toy in there. And once the lemur is delivered, here we go. Let's get this set up the rest of the way. We can click on them. They need enrichment, of course. They have hard shelter. They have terrain. They have plenty of climbable area. They need more. They need different terrain. So we want a lot more soil. One thing I like to do is I like to put light soil under my stretchers. Because that makes it look realistic. That's where you wouldn't have much grass growing. And that gets the gets some soil in there, and then I use it to kind of blend in a little bit more. And then we get a very basic setup in here. Right, so now we can come into plants, and we want Africa tropical. And we have to keep in mind that they can escape with, they can climb these. So we don't want anything tall near the Epsips. Because again, they can climb that stuff. Uh, this tree would be really cool, but it's way too big. Could probably put it here though. That gets quite a bit of coverage. Adds a huge thing to here. And then we'll add just this apple tree here. Yeah, so now these things are really adding quite a bit here. And then we can come in and add a bunch of these ferns here right around here. And it's good to rotate them a little bit if you really want to have a little bit of a different look. Of course, they're all hovering now. So let's get rid of those and try again. Okay, so I'm happy with this. Now, what I want to do is I want to come in here and we probably should have checked this before we got distracted with other stuff, but I want to come in and check different things. We have traversable area. There's no escape points. They can climb up there just fine. And they have plenty of shelter. Okay, so that is good. They are happy with their terrain. They're happy with their trees. Guests are happy as well because they can see different stuff, but let's go ahead and change our signs down to the lemurs. I wish we could control how many guests were entering this habitat at once. We'll have to pay attention to whether or not they get the uh, lemurs get stressed. Because you want them to be able to be happy enough to mate. They don't seem stressed. Yeah, they seem quite happy there. Very good. Okay, so now we've got a lot of appeal with that. Now, the next thing I want to do, let's come in here. We got a challenge done. I did see a guest think prices are underpriced. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll double that again. 12 and 12. Very good. That will work. Uh, this is, we have no security guard. That is fine for now. Now, I do want to check on our staff. The keepers are not too stressed yet. Though this is, yeah, high workload. High workload for the vet as well. I think we need to look at adding more staff. And we do have the profit that we can do that. Let's go ahead and come in here and we're going to add one more of each we're not going to do any work zones yet mechanic is not overdone let's go ahead and add a security guard now and another vet okay so that should get them lower workloads and oh we have a visiting player you say hello you get some conservation points which at this stage is very critical now let's get one more in here and i think we'll do the same thing that we did before we'll come in here and we'll find another critically and endangered that doesn't require very much space yeah promiscuous 
Chinese pangolin might be good. But also we could get the poison frog. That would probably be a good one. Yeah, then we could get an exhibit in. Could put that right here. All right, so we're going to come in here. Facilities, animal exhibits. And we're going to do a planet zoo exhibit small. Place that right here. Ah, terrain modification failed. So apparently it won't fit there. Oh, there, we got it, okay. Beautiful. Then we can, oh, fed research. Continue. We got more of the tortoise. Let's see what, if they got any food stuff now. Tortoise, yep, herb scent marker. Yep, get one of these in. Um, put it over here, I guess. And this one, block of frozen fruit. Now we've got very good enrichment for them. Okay, so we're actually I'm tempted to move them over to the lemur now, but I think we'll keep them there. And we want to come in here and we want the poison frog. There's one female that has very low fertility. Can change the price. Oh, uh, no. Okay. We can go ahead and send that right to our exhibit here. And we're going to change this to poison frog. And then the habitat itself, we want to get the temperature right. Let's move this up. And get the humidity up pretty high too. Air humidity is in the right range. Temperature is rising. That should work. Okay, now layout. We don't have any enrichment that we can add right now. So it's okay, it's not great. And we wanna watch, see that was a female, I think. Yeah, female. We need to watch here. And hopefully we get a male because the whole point is so that they uh, mate and stuff like that. But let's come over here, we can get rid of this. Save a little bit of money. Very good. Now I want to come in and I'm going to add a little bit of nature to kind of fill in these spaces a bit. Okay, I did a very basic thing, just one quick little cypress tree and then hydrangea bushes, but I think it really adds stuff. And a reporter has just left. Let's see their report. So we had really good on everything except education. So let's go in and we're going to try to improve our education. We're going to come in here and we're going to find these education boards. And these are going to be just general education. And I think what we'll do is we'll put them on the sides of things. We'll get one here. Uh, I've got plants there. I don't want that there. Put this one here. There's stuff on both sides, only on one. Okay. And then over here. There. So we've got one for each habitat. So, you know, that's just on the main thing here. The tortoise is about to have offspring. Very good. Amphibian ed extinction crisis. Then let's come over here and this one will be next one on the list. Bee population decline. Deforestation. And let's get these over here now too. One there and one here. Actually, we'll put that this over to the other side. So that's deforestation. Let's go down one. Ecological restoration. And ecotourism. There we go. So that should help improve some of our education. We could get some animal talk points as well. Which can improve some of that. Put this here. And then set this. Oh, we have to link seating to that. 
Well, let's see how they can throw food. And yeah, then we have to, have, yeah, let's not do that yet. But the educational speaker might be good. I must add these in the corners here. Nope, didn't mean to add that to the group. Though that might make it easier to copy. Yeah, I'm gonna go around and add those everywhere. Okay, so that should really improve our education. If you come in here now and see guest needs, education. Oh, that's what they're what they're at. It's always so hard. Facilities. Here, education coverage. Yeah, so there is quite a bit of education in here. I'm happy with that. And uh, our lemurs have already had offspring. Let's come in here and see research complete into the tortoise. Uh, okay, let's come in here real quick. Tortoise, and we want to get more balls. We don't need more balls. They have plenty of toys. They actually have plenty of enrichment. Okay, very good. Yeah, okay. So what we can do is we can move the vet over onto a different thing, I suppose. Vet research, yeah. Oh, and we've got two of them. Let's put one on Arctic Fops now. No, we're done with Arctic Fops. Lieber, that's what we want. Okay, and then we were clicking on that to do something. What were we clicking to do? Oh, check on the animals. We have... No baby tortoises. We do have baby foxes. So these were all born at Cedar Creek and they have matured. So we're going to go ahead and release them to the wild. 181 points for that. And then come down here to the lemurs. We have one that is a baby. Let's see, do we have a male? Nope really want to get that male poison frog and then we'll be able to expand there but now what I want to do we're going to get started on this a little bit of planning so what I want is we're going to come in here to terrain and we're going to do rough rock for now shall I will do soil heavy and intense here this is going to be a creek. And what I am thinking is that we're going to have our main zoo be in here and be uh, kind of bordered by this winding creek coming through. It will come around like that. And then, yeah, it should go off to this. Of course, we don't go that far, but we can imagine the creek would come down this way and eventually go to that lake. And over here, perhaps, are we on an island? We are. Uh, okay, well, that doesn't quite work the way I wanted it to. But we'll have the creek come off this way then, too. And on one side of here, we're going to have, like, mostly forest and maybe we'll get some paths out there and a few exhibit or habitats or something but our main zoo is going to be in here and so then once we have that in place we can start to plan out some of our main paths so what we'll do is come down here to a smaller size and i want this area here to be kind of the entrance and we're, we'll get rid of these habitats eventually and have a nicer entrance but we'll come in and we'll keep these main pathways here and so I think what we'll do is we'll probably have like a main building maybe right here like an entrance building with a guest shop or like shopping and stuff like that and then coming off there we'll have a feature in here which we can probably mark that with coarse sand I was thinking like a reflecting pool in here. 
bring that down just a little bit. I don't want it to be too big. But yeah, we'll get a reflecting pool here. And then what we'll do is we'll bring the path. This will wind out this way. And come along here. And then we can get other habitats alongside it. And we could pretty soon, we could just build the path itself but being terrain here allows us or like a terrain paint will allow us to come back and then um we can raise the terrain if we want to and stuff like that without impacting our plan here but i want this pretty much to loop all the way around and then from this side i mean i suppose we could do the reflecting pool could, uh, here, what we're going to do is this will come on either side of this. And then maybe we have another path going off here. And off this way. And then we can split as well. And that will divide our area out into a few different zones that we can build with. Okay, so now we've got kind of the basic layout of our zoo. I'm happy with that. And I was just checking the animal market and we have a male poisonous frog. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in there right away. So now we should begin to be breeding in here. We've got a male and a female. Very good. They can breed and start getting us points. Also, we've got another visitor. I, I already said hello to them. So that's good. High amounts of litter again. I guess we will up our uh, trash cans again. Tuck these by these exhibit entrances and maybe people will end up it's interesting the doors go in on some spots and out on others we want to try to have plenty of trash cans but of course they don't always use that i mean uh, you know it's one of those things that is always frustrating I want to come in here and I want a guest facility. We want information in here. Let's get a simple info booth here. And we'll put that right on the corner here. Beautiful. And then we're set up to be ready to get another habitat in there again. You know, I think these two could probably stay, but eventually these two are going to have to be moved. So we'll have to plan where they're going to get moved to. But for now, I am pretty happy with this. I think that is where we will leave it for today. So be sure to click on the video on the screen now, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.